Right now on 69 News Weekend Edition, flights are canceled, cities have declared snow emergencies, and an NFL game has been postponed. We've got the latest on the winter storm that's wreaking havoc up and down the East Coast. It's all hands on deck for Penn Dot as the trucks get ready to hit the roads to make them safe. We'll have that story coming up. A man is dead following a Christmas Day fire in Northampton County. The latest on the investigation next. Those stories are much more, plus Chief Meteorologist Ed Hannis tracking the snowstorm. He'll be here with your latest forecast. Jim Vaughn has all the day's sports news. Good evening, I'm John Durr. 69 News Weekend Edition starts now. Your life, your world, your news. This is 69 News Weekend Edition, live at 6. This is one gift you can't exchange. Snow is falling all across the East Coast, and experts predict the Northeast region will bear the brunt of the storm. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Ed Hanna on what we can expect for our area. Ed. Thanks so much, John. It's good to see everybody. I hope everybody had a good Christmas weekend, good holiday weekend, and really past couple of weeks of festive time. But really quickly, give you a reminder to go to WFMZ.com. You can see our live traffic cams. They're very important. And of course, you guys, if you want to send your snow totals, thank you for those of you that have already done so. Half inch to two inches of snow for most parts of our viewing area. A little bit more further east you go. There's no question. This mo models we been telling you all week long have been back and forth out to sea hugging the coast and and we've been just it's been a nightmare to forecast this storm but now it's here and the best way is to really forecast this is to now cast and clearly we're seeing snow in our area but get this you ready we're going to see in our viewing area which is vast over five and a half million households we're going to see on the western flank of our area as little as an inch or less far eastern parts of our area over a foot our viewing area, everyone in between. Fascinating storm with a very tight gradient by way of precipitation is concerned. Winter storm warning for all counties in our viewing area. Some counties actually here shaded in pink. We've got blizzard warnings and for good reason. Watch the Doppler radar. You'll be able to get a good sense here of what we're dealing with. Clearly, these darkest shades of blue, that's where we're seeing the heaviest snowfall, in some cases half an inch to an inch per hour. We're going to see some of that continue to advance. This back edge, very important. We'll explain why. Six-day forecast coming up. All right. Thanks a lot, Ed. PennDOT drivers kicked into gear early this morning to get a head start on the roads. Crews will be out until tomorrow or even longer if necessary. WFMZ's Will Lewis joins us live from Whitehall now with the very latest. Will, what's it like out there? Well, John, we can tell you right now there are still a lot of people on the road, even though PennDOT has asked people to stay at home if they don't need to go outside. But they do realize there are a lot of people that are traveling from their Christmas holiday visits. So they say plan for extra time because you're going to need it. Now, around 2 p.m., all workers were in their trucks getting loaded up with salt so that they could hit the roads. And this morning, crews were laying down a salt brine mixture to help melt the snow as it landed on the roadway. Now, usually a weekend storm is a good thing for PennDOT crews because there's less traffic on the road. However, with it being the Christmas holiday weekend, traffic is heavier than normal. So workers are urging people to please be careful. Go slower. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna need a lot more time to get to where you're going in, a, in weather like this. If it does get blizzard-like and you have whiteout conditions on the road and you can't see, best option is to get off at the nearest exit or a rest area and just wait it out. Like we said right now, the roads seem pretty good right now, but PennDOT does say if you are out on the road, make sure you have an emergency kit with you. And that's things like a blanket, some food, some water, and of course a cell phone. And they say if you do that, hopefully if you get stuck, you'll be able to get somebody to come help you. Reporting live in Whitehall, Will Lewis, 69 News. All right, thanks a lot, Will. Time now to head on over to Berks County, and that's where we find WFMZ's Jackie Farish. She is standing by in Muhlenberg Township. Uh, what's it like out there, Jackie? Oh, John, I tell you what, it is so cold out here. We are at the in intersection of 222 and Bellevue Avenue, as you said, in Muhlenberg Township. The uh, snow is coming down at a steady cliff. The wind is rocking. It's so cold. But that snow, as you can take a look at what's going on on the roads, it's not sticking on the roads here. PennDOT has been pretty good. They've come out. There's a lot of salt on the uh, surface. So as the cars go by, we're hearing a lot of slush being tossed off the side of the road. But the thing of it is, you know, when the temperatures go down, these wet roads are going to be a nightmare for anybody who is going to be driving on them. And that's why it's important. If you're going to be out here tonight, and hopefully you 
won't be. But if you are, you want to make sure that you maintain a very large stopping distance, at least a minimum of a car length in front of you, because you're not going to have time to stop. You're not going to be able to stop on a dive in conditions like this. And you want to remember not to slam on your brakes. You got to come to a stop very gently. Tap your brakes until you uh, get to where you need to be. But uh, things out here, the snow keeps coming down. It's incredibly cold. So stay inside and stay warm. Live in Muhlenberg Township, Berks County, Jackie Ferris, 69 News. All right, thanks, Jackie. Well, instead of hitting up the malls for some after Christmas shopping, some people decided to go grocery shopping instead to stock up for the storm. We caught up with some shoppers at the Red Nurse Market in Muhlenberg Township. Many were grabbing the basics like milk and bread. Shoppers we talked to said they were buying enough food to last about a day or two. The storm is interfering with one of the busiest travel days of the year. The board at Lehigh Valley International Airport shows a lot of canceled or delayed flights. Some travelers were upset that their flight has been delayed to a time when the storm might possibly be even worse. And that means a lot of people could be staying the night at LVIA if they don't get on a flight. There's no flights available because I'm flying three stops to get to Phoenix, Arizona. That's where I'm going, and there's no connecting flights to get there. If you're planning to travel tonight or tomorrow, officials urge you to check LVIA.org or call your airline first. Well, flights in and out of the Lehigh Valley aren't the only ones to be canceled today. The snowstorm is affecting airports all across the East Coast. Correspondent Mark Cherry reports. It was an unexpected white Christmas for parts of the southeast, and as a blizzard makes its way northeast, holiday travelers ready to head home are facing some hiccups in their schedules. For whatever reason, only weather, um, no plane going into D.C. tonight. They were so. going to put us on standby in the morning, but they're canceled. More than a thousand flights have been canceled because of the storm, but many airlines are waiving penalties for cancellations at airports from North Carolina to Boston Sunday and Monday. Philadelphia declared a snow emergency, preparing residents for up to 14 inches of snow and heavy winds. This will be a very dangerous circumstance uh, this afternoon into the evening. And Boston followed suit with a forecast of up to 20 inches for parts of Massachusetts. It's a serious situation this time. If everybody cooperates with us, that will get through it. The snow will be wet and heavy. Temperatures will be at or below freezing, and winds will be high. Officials are telling travelers to get an early start if they must drive, and otherwise to stay off the roads. Matt Cherry, 69 News. Well, that fear of heavy snowfall has forced the NFL to postpone the Eagles-Vikings game that was scheduled for this evening. The nationally televised game has been moved to Tuesday night at 8. The decision came after Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter issued a snow emergency and says he wants to keep as many people from driving as possible. Well, the postponement is nothing new for the Vikings. They've already had two games affected by the weather this season. Crews are working in the snow at this hour to get a restaurant fire under control in Allentown. Officials say the two-alarm fire broke out around 5.30 this afternoon at Izzy's Restaurant in the 900 block of Union Boulevard. There's no word on any injuries. Stay tuned to 69 News and WFMC.com for the latest on this developing story. The Lehigh County coroner says a man was killed on Christmas Day after a the snow didn't stop people from returning unwanted Christmas gifts today. The Phillipsburg Mall was bustling as folks looked to pick up some after-Christmas deals and make those all-important returns. And it didn't take long for a line to form at the return counter at Target on Cedar Crest Boulevard in Allentown this afternoon. Officials we talked to said the past few years they've known what to expect. This is pretty much on par for the last couple of Christmases. I wouldn't say it's any more or less busy. It's right about where we expected and right about where it's been the last couple of years. Stores nationwide had extended their hours today, looking to drum up post-Christmas business by offering sales. But experts say the weather probably kept some shoppers home today. Well, sometimes saving money means making tough choices. Well, the snow today, a welcome sight for skiers and boarders. Check out the winter wonderland at Bear Creek Mountain Resort in Long Swamp Township, Berks County. Officials there say the type of snow that's falling makes for some great...
conditions. And it's a big week for skiing, too, with a lot of people off work. Let's get the latest on the weather conditions now with Chief Meteorologist Ed Hammer. Thanks so much. Yeah, get those pictures to WFMZ.com and let's, uh, and even snow totals, we'd like to know what you have. Again, anywhere between a half an inch and now some places three inches of snow has fallen in parts of our area, depending on where you happen to be. The big picture here, obviously, we talked about that snow in the southern states, and you can see just churning up the coast, the storm center, right off the coast of Virginia and the Delmarva. That's about where I would place that storm. Again, it is pretty far out to sea. I mean, it's not on the coast. It's not hugging the coast. It's out to sea, but it's throwing this moisture back, and we just happen to be right on the fringe. And you don't have to go too far outside of our viewing area before it it just ends, and uh, boy, you get back into western Pennsylvania, and you're dealing with rel relatively clear skies. So we, it, this is just such a tight gradient, and that's why I always say, you know, 30, 40 mile shift is going to mean all the difference between, you know, an inch or two and 12 plus inches. It's remarkable, and this gradient is certainly no exception. You'll see why here in just a second. Take a look. Here comes the moisture spread back our way. Snow started eh, most parts of our area between noon and two o'clock, depending on where you happen to be in our viewing area. But this back edge, I keep saying over and over on the AccuWeather channel all afternoon long, where this back edge sets up, it's critical because we're, can, if you really want to see a really significant snowstorm for the Berks Lehigh Valley area, you want to see that back edge continuing to move back further to the west, allowing for some of these dark shades of blue to creep into our area. And so far, that back edge, it's just made it to a certain point. And as I said, it looks like it's going to erode, then it builds back in, then it erodes. That's happening all afternoon long, but you can essentially see how things are unfolding. And these darker shades of blue, while they're really pummeling New Jersey and just getting, some of them are trying to migrate into the Lehigh Valley. It's just generally more of a lighter snow, very light, fluffy snow. Unlike Boston, you heard the mayor there say it's going to be very wet, heavy snow. Here, different story. Very light, fluffy snow. And that just continues to migrate back and into our area. So let's break down for you what we're expecting this storm. Again, not hugging the coast, so we're right on the fringe. But we are getting enough to create some problems. And again, PennDOT is encouraged if you don't have to go out to please stay off the roadways. All of that said, and this is a fluid situation, so I need you to stay tuned, of course, to our newscast at 10 o'clock. In between, I'll be giving you updates on the hour right here on Channel 16 and on the AccuWeather channel as well. But 12 plus inches right along the coast, I think they're going to get hammered. So Boston, New York, Philadelphia, I think those locations, you're dealing with just some significant snow events. And again, check the airports because I know lots and lots of flights have been canceled. Of course, you get away from the coast and you're dealing, as you get over, you get to talk about a 6 to 12 inch band. And then that 6 inch line looks to go pretty much right through the Lehigh Valley area. Then west of the Lehigh Valley, you're going to be talking about that 3 inch line through the the western parts of Berks all the way up into Schuylkill County and then you don't get, have to get too far off to the west before you talk about an inch or nothing so between there and there I mean that's not a big area as you know over our viewing area you're talking about as little as an inch all the way up to a foot plus and everything in between and these lines again can shift depending on the bands right now this is definitely where the heaviest snow falls and I got to tell you something unless we start getting some of those more darker bands back into our area you know we may not even get into these ranges so we're gonna have to watch it all very very carefully we'll be doing that all night long please join us 19 degrees snow and here's the other thing and I haven't talked a lot about it but you need to know a very strong wind is going to pick up tonight you're talking 20 to 40 mile an hour winds with this very light snow. It's going to blow, and we're going to have a lot of drifting no matter how much you have, whether it's a couple of inches or you're talking about 8, 10, 12 inches in the eastern parts of our area. You're going to be dealing with a good amount of blowing and drifting, not just tonight, but through the day tomorrow. That wind continues. And look at temperatures tomorrow. I mean, it's cold, 26 degrees, so no melting really to speak of. But, John, take a look at the end of the week. We've been talking about the warmer air getting into the area, and by New Year's day we may be talking about temperatures near 50 yeah not bad not i'm bad. gonna ignore tomorrow's <laughs> forecast and just look at the end of the week that looks nice so we'll be giving you updates all night all right. Stay tuned. we appreciate it thanks a lot ed yeah. time now to take a look back at the week that was on 69 news updates on we started tonight talking about snow let's end tonight talking about snow thanks john let's look real quickly and be able to show you what we are watching that back edge that's so important because it's a no-brainer the eastern parts of our area new jersey and far eastern Pennsylvania getting those dark shades of blue but it's that far western edge it just continues that seems to be where it's setting up and then really between the Pennsylvania New Jersey border all the way over to that far western edge 
it's generally a lighter snow, waiting for some of those darker blue bands, and that back edge may erode. So we're going to have to watch because that's clearly going to affect our totals. And so in our viewing area, you know, in, in a, over a, a 50 to 60 mile stretch or more, you know, I mean, we're talking as little as, you know, an inch or two all the way up to the east, you know, over a foot. New York yeah. City may get, you know, 12 to 18 inches of snow I mean, out of this. So we'll be updating you all on the hour, so stay tuned. Okay, okay. it'll be updating you all every hour on the hour. We'll have, be back with more news tonight at 10. For everyone here, I'm John Durr. We'll see you then.